Good evening, everyone, and as we near the day of All Hallows' Eve, it's time for us to take a look at the most terrifying aspect in all of Digimon, Dark Digivolutions, to where they go from a happy, cuddly, friendly monster into, into a true beast of data. Let's hop in and begin. Dark Digivolution, one of the most terrifying concepts in the Digimon world, with a 20 plus year history of darkness. And a few years ago when I was first starting this whole Digimon game, I made a video covering the history of Dark Digivolution. Well, it's been a few years since then, and a lot of Dark Digivolution has happened. Plus, I mainly oh, yeah. focused on the anime, but today I'm going to try and give you a comprehensive history of every example of Dark Digivolution in the entire Digimon franchise. Oh, that's going to be a lot. What a oh, ah! Well, you won't be seeing me next time when we go digital. <laughs> <laughs> This video okay, will have spoilers go. for the entirety of the Digimon franchise. You are warned. What is up, scary companions? My name is Khan EX, and welcome back to Khan hey, Spooktober Khan. Spectacular. And yes, today we are talking the history of Dark Digivolution. And I am talking very specifically of Dark Digivolution. There is a big history of other types of evolution. Digimon that are already evil Digivolving is not a Dark Digivolution because they are not corrupted. They are not influenced by negative emotion and they negative are energy. Negative. So this video is going to specifically be talking about Dark Digivolution throughout the history of the anime, manga, video games, and some other things. It is likely I will miss one because- Could you really do it for the card games? Probably not. Digimon is such a huge franchise and not all of it is documented, and what I consider a Dark Digivolution kind of- Well, maybe through the card art itself. My dictionary definition of Dark Digivolution you might disagree with, though I will try to cover some as we go along the way. And Dark Digivolution really begins back in 1999 with the original Digimon uh, adventure. Tai, determined to make Agumon Digivolve to fight Etamon, ends up pushing his crown and his Digimon partner way further than he should, using the oh, wrong yeah. kind of courage, making Greymon Dark Digivolve into Skull Greymon. To me, this feels very intentionally like a callback to the evolutions triggered by poor care on the original V-Pets, but on the original V-Pets, the more lazy, poor care conditioned huh. Digimon tended to not be like dark and more so, well, if you think about Digimon World 1, you had things like Numemon. Skull Greymon yeah. to me is much darker and much more evil, even though it was on the original V-Pets. Mm -hmm. This instilled a total fear in me as a child. It is one of of, if not the most iconic Dark Digivolutions in the entire franchise. And it's I mean, it's literally the start of it for everyone. And, and even though that thing doesn't really have like a mind or conscious, when you look into those dark, piercing green eyes, you can see the one thought that is just bouncing around and repeating. Kill. It's even an example of trauma affecting kids in the Digimon franchise that we saw long before things like Digimon Tamers, as Ty is genuinely scared to Digivolve Agumon again in case Skull Greymon or another Dark Digivolution shows up. And oh, funnily yeah, enough, the that. Digivice version complete toy from 2021 also added Dark Digivolution definitively to Digivice or V-Pet style toys, kind of for the first time. A full Dark yeah, Digivolution cool. rather than the sort of V-Pet care mistakes evolution that I talked about earlier. And even more interestingly, Agumon and Gabumon can Dark Digivolve Evolve on the Digivice version complete. If you lose two battles in the oh, same cool. stage, instead of their normal ultimates and megas, you can get Skull Greymon and Black War Greymon for Agumon. Interesting they use Black War Greymon. The reasons we'll talk about in a little bit. Very I actually neat. prefer Machine Dramon as Skull Greymon's evolution in Adventure, but Black War Greymon makes sense and it's a nice little homage to Zero Two. And mm -hmm. Garurumon slightly boringly gets Wegarurumon Black and Metal Garurumon Black. Like, yes, these are kind of yeah. the dark Wegarurumon and Metal Garurumon variants. And obviously, you it's see Black, Black War Greymon variants. and Metal Garurumon become things like Omnimon's Vort in V Pets and Card games, etc. But I've been a champion of Skull Balukimon as Garurumon's Dark Digivolution for so long, it being a Skull Digimon that very much oh, looks yeah. like a winged Garurumon. It matches it perfect with Skull Greymon. But I wanted to talk about the Digivice version complete for this video anyway. Moving right, on to Digimon go. Adventure 02, Agumon once again is in the firing line as Kenichi Joji, the Digimon Emperor, forces him to Dark Digivolve, activating the form Skull Greymon once again. He even sicks him on the Digi Destined, and Skull Greymon shows that traditional running wild, that uncontrollable rage and darkness mm -hmm. once again that it tapped into in Adventure. Trying Just once again destroy. to make a Metal Greymon and turning Agumon into Skull Greymon, Ken actually has to upgrade his Dark Rings into Dark Spirals. And this is finally what allows him to access a- I'm sorry, but shouldn't that be called a Dark Spring? <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now the Dark Digivolution for the adventure Agumon Virus Metal Greymon. This was huge for me Ooh, as a kid. I was aware is. of the Virus Metal Greymon. I think because I'd seen promotional material, maybe it was on like a card or something that I had access to. So seeing it in the show was incredible, but then years later realizing that that Metal Greymon was the original Metal Greymon, that Agumon oh. was Dark Digivolving to the original Metal Greymon, not the orange version, the non-virus version we came to know in the hey, anime, that's was cool. a fantastic callback and a great use of Dark Digivolution. Sticking with Zero Two, we also have Hurricane Touchdown or Digimon the Movie, where Willis's Kokomon gets infused by darkness. In the original yep. Japanese, it's due to the fact that it's all alone, it is missing Willis. In Digimon the Movie, it's because of the influence of Diaboromon and its egg. And we see the results of- Oh yeah, of and the whole on turning uh, back the clock or whatever form of Wendymon for Kokomon. We never really see it as Lotmon as far as I'm aware until later movies. And it becomes Antilamon, which was always disappointing to me as a Dark Digivolution because it's the same evolution that Teruimon uses. I would like something a little bit more evil for the Wendymon evolution. But we do, of course, see Trubimon yeah, Vice in that movie too before yeah, it is Vice kind of purified, mode. becomes Trubimon Virtue. Now, of course, it's Digimon Tamer's time. And this is one that is oh, always going to make a like, top 10 list of like the most insane Dark Digivolutions because when Jerry's partner, Leomon, is murdered by Bielsa, Takato is and that scene is still like brutal as all hell I mean Beelzebub just straight up goes hand blade and just shoves it right through Leomon completely obliterating like his core engulfed in a rage which activates the digital oh, yeah. hazard on his partner Gilmon Growlmon and in this instance War Growlmon causing it to mm -hmm. dark digivolve to Megidramon but it's interesting because the Gilmon lion has this digital Gilmon. hazard however if we look at Takato's drawings he did not draw a digital hazard on Gilmon meaning that somewhere in the process of Gilmon's creation this digital hazard this thing that threatens the human and digital worlds was put onto him which leads many to believe wasn't that because Gilmon wasn't you know born naturally he was literally created by Takato's drawing his mind and the use of a digivice. He wasn't naturally born a Digimon, so of course he would have been a digital hazard. Like, if someone was to create an artificial human, believe, myself included, the Megidramon, while a Dark Digivolution, is also kind of the default, the thing that War Graumon will eventually become regardless. It was just that Takato's rage and negative emotion forced it to go further. Regardless, though, an incredible scene, one of the scariest Dark Digivolutions ever. It's right oh, yeah, there truly for me. And it destroys it. Takato's Digivice, meaning he eventually has to get the Golden Digivice, which is huge. I marked out as a kid seeing a Digidestin get a brand new Digivice and a Golden one at that. Digimon Still Frontier kind of has Dark Digivolution and kind of doesn't. The yeah. I would yeah, say for Dark Digivolution is Duskmon and Valgamon, the corrupted spirits of darkness belonging to Koichi. Because, you know, he took a little tumble. I would say these do count as Dark Digivolution as they are very much evil and corrupted. And when you compare them yes, to the beast spirits, which corrupted. also do kind of have reckless bestial actions at first, Duskmon and Valgamon are a whole other kettle of fish. I would never count the beast spirits as Dark Digivolution. They're more like how in Tamers when the Digimon Digivolve for the first time, they're just a little bit more wild and out of control because they never had these forms before. But Duskmon and Valgamon yeah, definitely new. are, oh. I think, Dark Digivolutions. Some Digimon in Frontier that aren't Dark Digivolutions, though, are Ranamon, Arbamon, Grottemon, and Mercurymon in any of their evolutions. Mm -hmm. They are evil spirits, but they're not Dark Digivolutions. They're kind of inherently evil, though admittedly they do go on kind of like a process, some of them anyway. Then there's Cherubimon Virtue, which is another one that's similar to Dark Digivolution. I will count it, but it's very hotly contested. But basically, Cherubimon, when it is kind of mm. betrayed, it feels like by the other angels, turns into Cherubimon Vice in that season. It was later purified and reborn, so, you know, it's all good in the end. And then I guess you could technically count that. I personally wouldn't, simply because it's just doing its mode switch, which it can do in literally anything. And there's Black Seraphimon, which I also don't count, because it's not a Dark Digivolution, it's actually Mercurymon scanning Seraphimon's data to Digivolve. This is an evil Digimon yeah, using a go. good Digimon to create a dark form. It's almost the inverse of Dark Digivolution, in my opinion. Data Squad has, of course, Shine Greymon Ruin Mode. This is a very similar and intentional callback to the way that Skull Greymon appeared in Digimon Adventure, and indeed how Megidramon appeared in Digimon Tamers. Marcus is furious at Thomas, and this makes his Dark Digisoul trip 
trigger a dark digivolution oh, into Shine Brain cool. on Ruin Mode. I wish it's I liked Shine Brain on Ruin Mode and the card game isn't helping that much, but it is a great example of dark digivolution in the franchise, and I like that it is a callback to adventure. Digimon Cross Wars, the series doesn't really have dark digivolution, it has some dark and evil Digimon, of course. The closest yeah. we really have here is kind of a dark pre-evolution, and that is that Ballistamon originally was Dark Volumon, who was not a cool little dude. <laughs> I don't know if I count this as Dark Digivolution, but I <laughs> want to know that? it anyway. Digimon Try. In Digimon Try, due to Jessmon's attack, Kari goes sicko mode. And her little baby Nyadomon, Dark Digivolves all the way up to a Fannymon fall down mode. And this is Damn, actually in the original jump. adventure canon, ignoring things like Adventure PSP, strictly anime canon, the first time we ever saw Gatomon's line become an Ophanimon. It had historically only ever became Magnadramon, and even uh -huh. from now on has only ever become Magnadramon. So the only yeah. time that the that original boy? Adventure Canon's Kari has had her partner become an Ophanimon was fall down mode, which goes really well <laughs> when it fuses with Raglmon to become Ordainmon, which I will also consider a dark digivolution or a dark fusion. Anyway, and also, yes, that's Yeah, that's a dark cross, if anything. To the fact that Meikumon also kind of has dark digivolution, though not really. Official Digimon media describe it as a mutation, not a dark digivolution, but Meikumon becomes Meikrakmon vicious mode and then Raglmon. They look evil as heck. Like, I'm counting them as dark digivolution. This to me is like a DNA digivolution versus a fusion yeah. versus a digicross. They are like technically different and they are executed in different ways. But like, especially DNA digivolution and fusion are so similar. It's like annoying. If you don't want- Like it all goes under the same umbrella, even if they have a different name. I can't make you mon's dark branch. You don't have to, but I will. Atmon was also happening at the same time. We don't really have dark digivolutions here either. Offmon has his evolutions that are kind of more feral. But that's more in line with its wolf-like tendencies and feels more like the beast spirits going off the rails than a dark digivolution. Although there are some like evil forces in Atmon. It's a whole oh, thing. Digimon Adventure 2020, the first season to air after my original Dark Digivolution video. The big notable one is of course when Tai and Agumon are fighting Dun Whoa. Devimon, Danny DeVito Devimon. The Dark <laughs> Miasma starts acting up again, much how like it did when Metal Greymon became Metal Greymon Alterus Mode. And indeed, as Metal Greymon Alterus Mode this time, the Dark Miasma combined with Taichi going like, I don't even know, like Omayu oh, Amo Shindeiru on Dun Devimon. Metal Greymon- <laughs> He truly just said that you're already Dead. Love it. <laughs> Alterus mode becomes this big energy ridden machine Whoa. drum. The first time we've ever seen an adventure anime Agumon dark digivolve to a machine drumon. And even with this dark energy, Dun Devimon still kicks its butt. It's insane. But that's not technically Damn. it. He done that Omoamo Shinderu against you. <laughs> For this season, though, we don't have quite Dark Digivolution for other characters. We do see the two Angel Digimon tied much more intrinsically to Darkness in this season, with Gatomon doing something of a mix between Dark Digivolution and some sort of Darkness armor being met as Skull slash Dark Nightmon before being redeemed oh. and then struggling with that for some of the season. And then it transpires that Devimon in this season is literally a twin Darkness to Patamon's Light, created when Patamon or Andromon initially fell to Ooh, Darkness. So it's actually okay. more like the Darkness split, kind of a Venetus and Ventus situation. Situation, but it's still a dark side to Patamon in that season, and I think is somewhere in the Dark Digivolution wheelhouse. Totally and that brings us to the most recent season of the anime Digimon Ghost Game, where, yes, Gulus Gamamon is kind of a dark Digivolution in a very similar way to Megidramon, as Gulus Gamamon is kind of Gamamon's default form, actually, and it's only through the partnership with Hero that it gets other forms. But it's still presented nice. very much like a dark Digivolution. Gamamon's rage at seeing things like spoilers, Bokomon's death, triggers him to become oh, Gulus Gamamon sad. once again. We also saw Gulus Gamamon Gamamon evolved further, I think very cool, to its ultimate form, Regulusmon. And though it sadly never showed up in Ghost Game, we also had a Mega for this Dark Digivolution branch, Arcturusmon, and even a fusion nice. or DNA Digivolution called Proximamon, which seemed to be intended as a Siriusmon and Arcturusmon DNA Digivolution, balancing creation and destruction, because Siriusmon is kind of the good Mega for the Gamamon line. I didn't really vibe- Oh, wait, it can- Whoa, hold on, that's actually kind of cool, because before Ghost Game actually ever came out, I had personally create my own, you know, fan digiline. And the thing is, I actually made an idea that was similar to that. To where the partner Digimon, on the, depending on how it's raised, could split either into a good or evil variant. And, but then when they got to the uh, ultimate levels of whatever it was, they could DNA, uh, they could DNA Digivolve back together. Oh. Only thing though is that the design I made was a little too much. And so I kind of declass that. They can still DNA Digivolve, I just need to redesign the final form though. But still, 
whoever made this show and I had the exact same thought way before. With Ghost Game in the end, but Gulu, Scammon, and Regulus Mom were like the entire reason I kept watching. Great Dark Digivolution, and I love that Gulu, Scammon had much more of a personality than the more rageful, berserk Dark Digivolutions we've seen previously. All right, that's the anime done, but we've got other stories that I'm gonna run down real quick. Digimon Seekers, of course, we have Eiji's jealousy at Leon Alexander, making Lugamon become Hell Lugamon. This is the what? counterpart to Soul Lugamon, which is kind of the purified or more normal non Dark Digivolution of Lugamon and Lugamon. I wish we saw more Halugamon in Digimon Seekers, but it was still cool. I also want to acknowledge oh, yeah. that this video is coming out while Digimon Liberator is still releasing. There is a very high That's chance fine. that we will get a Dark Digivolution of some kind, as we have a Femon partner, Ghostmon partner. There's a bunch of other partners that could Dark Digivolve here, even Terromon himself. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. I recognize this little alien guy because he was a villain in one of the, like, early uh, Digimon games. Hasn't happened yet. Then for manga, Digimon next, we of course have Barbamon with Magna Andromon's negative thoughts, making a Dark Digivolution to Myrmicusmon happen. And when cool. Yu is mourning the death of Trailmon, his Gaumon becomes a black Gaugamon. That's kind of fun. I like how that kind of That's ties Gaumon nice. as, even though it's not a Gabumon variant, it's very much an homage to Gabumon. And Gabumon and Garurumon have black variants too. In the Cross Wars manga, different to Cross Wars the series, it is said that Shademon's Lava Evolution is a Dark Digivolution when it is fed Hearts of Despair. Spare. And you can also count okay. Shademon Nene as a Dark Digivolution as it does have the Laminamon Nene counterpart, although I never want to think about those again. Quick rundown yeah, of video games! In Digimon Story, Black Agumon can Dark Digivolve to Dark Tyrannomon. Digimon Adventure PSP also has Skull Greymon because it's retelling the events of Digimon Adventure. Digimon nice. World Next Order has Kota forces his partner to become a Skull Greymon in the attempt to get a Machine Dramon. And you even have to kill that Skull Greymon, which is kind of crazy. This also eventually leads to things like Omnimon's War Defeat in that story, which I guess you could count. Digimon Rearize has the spirals. They make a bunch of Digimon Dark Digivolve, including a Tyrannomon that attacks a town and then becomes Skull Greymon. And okay. of course, the big part of the story is that our little buddy Harrismon eventually digivolving to Staphylmon, influenced by the spirals, to become Rasenmon Fury Mode. Harrismon and nice. Makumon are so similar. Digimon Survive has a few. Haruchika, who is a character from the past of Digimon Survive, has a Fang Longmon that eventually Dark Digivolves to the Master, which is kind of a dark Whoa. life form or a digital life form. And That's interestingly, awesome. when you go through the truthful route once you defeat the master it also can become fang Longmon ruin mode basically another dark digivolution so it's like dark digivolution yeah, squared swapping, some other yes. rooms for survive have of course shuji who was beating up his partner lotmon the entire story he is a terrible tamer in that game i know some people see that he's just a kid i get it there is nuance i personally can never forgive shuji for what he did but i understand if you can i mean it'd be kind of similar like what happened with impmon i mean the dude was literally being ripped apart by his two uh tamers and they were kids. Plotmon basically is so beaten down and so abused by his partner that it Dark Digivolves to Wendymon, goes berserk, kills Mega Seedramon, and then eats its partner. Digivolves oh, is crazy. You guys have got to play it. In addition to that, in part 11 on the Wrathful Room, after Saki dies, Aoi and Labramon are both bodied by Piedmon, and because Aoi wants to live so badly, her hand touches her partner's paw, and they Dark Digivolve into Plutomon together. Yeah, it's a dark biomerger. They're whole oh. video about what the other kids might dark bio merge to. What an insane ending. And it doesn't stop there, because also in Digimon Survive, on the Harmony route, Kaito, who is so cut up about his sister being dead, basically makes a deal with Piedmon to merge or fuse with Kaito's partner, Myotismon, and become Bolt Boutmon. This again technically is. isn't dark digivolution, but it is a result of the darkness in Kaito's heart after losing his sister and him wanting to destroy the world. So I would personally count it, even if it is more like a dark fusion digivolution. And that is I mean, it. the entire yes. history of what I believe is every Dark Digivolution in the Digimon franchise. Though, of course, I am only human, I am only fallible. I'm going from my experiences with Digimon Media, Wikimon, Digimon Wiki, any other resources I could pull from in researching this video. I probably have missed one. Please let me know in the comments down below. Though I may disagree yeah, I mean, with you on whether it is a Dark Digivolution or not. But again, this is as comprehensive as a list as I could put together. Thank you to my patrons over on patreon.com forward slash carnyx, including my amazing sovereign ZDK14. I appreciate you all so much for supporting this. Alright, everyone. Well, that's going to be the end of today's video and i hope you all enjoyed this remember to like comment and subscribe for more links to the original will be in the description below and i'll see all of y'all next time when we flick back on until then this is fox signing out peace